Welcome back to our YouTube channel. The topic of today's discussion is eigenvalue and eigenvector. Here we will find out the eigenvalue and eigenvector by power method. So power method can be employed for finding out the largest and smallest eigenvalue of a given matrix. So for largest eigenvalue, these are the following steps that you have to follow. So in the first steps, you have to take the matrix A. In the second steps, you have to define a column matrix X0, the elements of which are all ones. So this is the guess actually. That means if A has a dimension of 3 by 3, then X0 will be a column matrix of elements 1, 1, 1. So then you have to multiply these two matrix that means A and X0 and after multiplying you will get another column matrix which is Y0 and the next task is to find out the largest element of Y0 and let's say the largest element is M0 okay and in the next steps what you have to do you have to divide all the elements of X0 by the largest element M0 okay and let's say it is x1 which is y0 divided by m0. So these steps you have to do several times. So in the second iteration you have to do similar thing. Here is y1 is nothing but the multiplication of a with x1. Initially it was a with x0. Now in the second iteration you have to multiply a with new x1. Okay. Then you have to find out the largest element in magnitude of the matrix y1 and let's say now it is m1 then you have to divide all the elements of y1 by this m1 which is x2 y1 divided by m1 so repeat these steps until you get a conversion criteria which is mn plus 1 minus mn divided by mn plus 1 less than 10 to the power minus 2. So 10 to the power minus 2 I have chosen as conversion criteria. You can choose your own conversion criteria like 10 to the power minus 4, 10 to the power minus 5. Okay. So after that you can conclude that the largest eigenvalue of A lambda max is m n plus 1 and the corresponding eigenvector is x n plus 2. Now let's see the algorithm or the steps for finding out the smallest eigenvalue. So the steps are first you have to take the matrix A then this steps is very important you have to find out the inverse of that matrix A and you know the formula of A inverse which is A inverse equal 1 by determinant of A into adjoint A. The logic behind this is that if lambda is one of the eigenvalue of a then 1 by lambda will be eigenvalue of a inverse so if you apply power method to a inverse then you will get the largest eigenvalue of a inverse and the inverse of that will be the smallest eigenvalue of a so do the power method by using a inverse instead of a then you will get the largest eigenvalue of a inverse which and the inverse of which is nothing but the smallest eigenvalue of A and you can also find the corresponding eigenvectors. So these are the app algorithms that you have to follow. So let's do a problem to understand it better. So this is our matrix A and the elements are 6 minus 2 2 minus 2 5 0 2 0 7. Now let's first find out the largest eigenvalue. So in the first iteration, you have to consider x0, which is 1, 1 and 1, okay. Then you have to multiply a and x0. So a and x0 will be, so this is your a and this is your x0, okay. And when you mul multiply, then you will fi finally get 6, 3 and 9. Now the next task is that you have to find out the largest one. And among these three elements, the largest one obviously 9, okay. So the largest element m0 equal to 9. And now you have to define all the elements of this by 9. So 6 by 9 
3 by 9, 9 by 9, ultimately we are getting 2 by 3, 1 by 3 and 1. So you will get one element which is exactly equal to 1 and the rest elements are less than 1. Okay. So similar thing you have to do second time which is called second iteration. So in second iteration you have to multiply a with x1. Okay. So this is your a and this is your x1 and when you will multiply uh, finally you will get 16 by 3, 1 by 3 and 25 by 3. Now among these three elements you have to find out the largest one. Okay. So largest one obviously 25 by 3. So we have taken m1 as 25 by 3 which is nothing but 8.33. So in the next step you have to divide all the elements of this by the largest one that means 8.33. So x2 equal 1 by 8.33 into this that means ultimately I am getting 16 by 25, 1 by 25 and 1. Now here we have done a rough work that means we have calculated the eigenvalue conventionally. So you know how to uh, find out the eigenvalues that means the determinant of a minus lambda i you have to take as 0 then you have to just find out the values of lambda and if you do like this then uh, ultimately finally you get lambda equal 3, 6 and 9. So from this you can uh, say that when you uh, do power method to a you should get uh, 9 or a nail, uh, some value nearly equal 9 and when you get uh, you do actually uh, power method to a inverse then you should get 3 or uh, something some value nearly equal to 3 okay so we'll check whether uh, I'm getting uh, or not so similarly in the third iteration you have to multiply a and x2 then ultimately you are getting these values so the largest one is 8.28 so largest element is m2 equal 8.28 so where x3 you have to divide all these elements by this one okay so ultimately you will get this now you have to do several time until you get the convergent uh, criteria or convergent condition and in my, in this example i am getting after 12 iteration m11 ultimately 8.96 which is uh, you can say uh, 9 nearly so the largest eigenvalue I'm getting 9 by power method which is exactly same as 9 by conventional method so let's calculate the smallest eigenvalue so for smallest eigenvalue you have to find out the a inverse which is 1 by determinant of a into adjoint a so we have find out the determinant of a which is 1 6 2 that means not equal to 0 so a inverse will exist then adjoint a you have to find out and you know how to find out the adjoint of a matrix so ultimately finally i'm getting a inverse next we'll apply power method to a inverse so in the first iteration we have considered x naught as 1 1 1 then we have multiplied a inverse with x naught so this is your a inverse so this is your a inverse so a inverse is multiplied by x naught x naught is 1 1 1 and ultimately i am getting these values and next task is to find out the largest one so largest one obviously 0 0.2962 so m naught equal 0 0.2962 okay and in the next step you have to divide all these elements by this largest element so ultimately you are getting one element one which is middle one and the rest element should be less than one so you have to do uh, like that uh, then after seven iteration if you uh, do similar things then ultimately you will get the largest element m6 equal 0.3309 so this is the result that means I'm getting the largest eigenvalue of A inverse as 0 0.3309 therefore smallest eigenvalue of A will be 
inverse of that so 1 by 0 0.3309 which is 3.02 and nearly equal 3 now conventionally we have already find out okay so the smallest one is 3 now by using uh, power method I'm also getting the smallest eigenvalue is 3 so this is how we can apply power method to find out the smallest and largest eigenvalue and eigenvector so thank you for watching